Hi, today I would like to talk about a bit of uh, basics of uh, electronics DIY and I would like to introduce the breadboard which is a very useful uh, tool for prototyping and for starting any electronics project. Uh, for example, when I was younger, I started with electronics soldering things and it, it takes a lot of time, it's expensive and if you do something wrong, you have to desolder and resolder it and you risk burning your components. If I had these uh, 10 years ago, maybe life would have been easier. I remember working in the, an electronics shop and I was talking uh, to the guy and he told me, do you have a breadboard? I said, no, I don't even know what it is. I said, just get one and I bought one straight away. And my life has changed a lot since then. Basically, a breadboard is a device to uh, create circuits uh, without a, a solder, solderless. And how it works is uh, basically just uh, a matrix, a table of uh, holes they are connected uh, there are different configurations but the classic one is in uh, in columns all these columns are uh, wired together and those two uh, huge lines are wired together and they're usually used for uh, power supply so you have them marked as plus and minus and so basically you can just uh, insert your components, for example this is a capacitor, you just plug the leads inside the holes and it stays in place. And uh, there are some uh, special cables used for breadboards, but for example I like to use those normal uh, cables that I scavenged from, from a an old phone line, I have a bunch of them. I just cut them and strip the two ends just long enough so that they can hit the bottom when, when you stick them in the, in the holes. So you can make connection between the lines. And here in the middle there is a, a kind of a, of a groove and it's made so that you can hook components this way and also for uh, integ integrated circuits this is a standard uh, size so that you can plug integrated circuits right in the middle and to have the, the leads just connected to to the columns and it's very cheap you can buy some on amazon as cheap as two euros or five euros and depends on on the size and they are called breadboards uh, that's interesting because it comes historically from people actually using breadboards, uh, wooden breadboards, to prototype their electronics. And in time, the, the name remained, and so that's why we call them breadboards nowadays, even if they really don't look like breadboards. And well, this is just an empty breadboard, and this is how a fully populated uh, breadboard looks like. Those are, for example, two oscillators that I'm working on at the moment. Here we have some LEDs. Uh, those are uh, variable resistors, some potentiometers that you can stick directly on the board. They're very useful, very comfortable to, to use and to tweak. Here a bunch of uh, capacitors and resistors. And here in the middle you, you can see an integrated circuit that is just standing across the, the groove that runs through the middle of the breadboard and this is for example a Eurorack connector, a standard Eurorack and this is a break up that uh, I soldered myself it's just uh, some jumper wires connected to, to the connector so that I can just plug them directly into the breadboard and this is very useful, you can do anything that you want uh, a jack or a XLR, you just uh, connect uh, solder the wires to, to your connector and you can plug them right in, in the breadboard so you can integrate different systems and uh, experiment with different sounds and electronics. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.